Hey, what's up guys? My name is Marwa and if it's your first time to this YouTube channel, can you subscribe? So today I'm meeting one beautiful girl. She actually looks uh, Asian. Yeah, so she'll tell us where she's from. What's your name? We live in I'm Reed. Uh, we're dancers from San Diego, and you're watching I Am Marwa. We live in a cynical world. A cynical world. I'm not You. Inside me. Complete me. Inside me. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Marwa, and if it's your first time to this YouTube channel, can you subscribe? So today I'm meeting one beautiful girl. She actually looks, uh, Asian, yeah, so she'll tell us where she's from. What's your name? My name is Camille. Camille, where are you from? Camille. I'm from Quebec, Canada. Quebec, Canada. Yeah. So actually, guys, right now we're in San Diego, San Diego, yeah, San Diego State? No, San Diego Community College. San Diego yeah, San Community Diego Community College. College, yeah. So I just want to know, like, she's new here. How long have you been here? The one month. One month? Yeah. So far, how do you find San Diego? I love it. The weather is so beautiful. Uh -huh. So actually, right now, it's fall in Quebec, and mm -hmm. it's supposed to be like 10 oh, degrees yeah. Celsius. Oh, so it must like be very cold. The, like yeah, going, exactly. Going cold, and huh? rainy and just gray. Oh, uh -huh. So my body's just like, oh, huh, wow. there's still sun. That's uh -huh. so great. <laughs> yeah. So you, you've been, you moved down here for like Jeez. one month so far? Yeah, exactly. Apart from the weather, how do you find people here in San Diego? If I find them very friendly. Californians uh -huh. in general are very friendly. Uh -huh. I do have some problems sometimes interacting because of my French accent. And uh -huh. I'm not native English speaker, uh -huh. but uh -huh. it's very nice to be So here. people like when you talk to them, people be like, what are you saying? Yeah, you saying? And, and they do ask questions about where I'm from and uh -huh. they look interested, so that's great. Oh. They're very welcoming. Do you sometimes like feel uncomfortable? Maybe you, you really want to talk to somebody? and yeah. you want an answer and they're asking you what are you saying like oh yeah, uh. yeah i just freeze up sometimes like oh. sometimes my brain is in french and like uh. i don't expect people to talk to me they just caught uh. me by surprise so that's hard but i'm getting used to it so tell us as a foreigner how like what is the cost of living here because it's pretty expensive uh -huh. i didn't expect that at all uh -huh. so right now i'm paying a thousand bucks for a room a thousand bucks. Yeah, a thousand yeah. bucks for room. Uh -huh. I do have high expectations. Like my apartment back in Quebec was like pretty neat. Uh -huh. So I was looking for the oh, same yeah, quality. Uh -huh. But I really learned that to get that in here, you really have to look and have to be like at perfect timing because on Craigslist the ads go so quickly. Like oh. you can find something you like the, the day after it's not there it's anymore. Not there. You have to be fast. Damn. Yeah. So a thousand. A thousand. Yeah. What, what does your room contain? Like a bed or it has a kitchen? It had nothing. I had to buy everything. It was just space? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, um, there's two rooms. There's yeah. another girl in another room. She's yeah. paying 800 because her room is like smaller. smaller. Mine is bigger with a big like closet and big yeah. window. So I have to pay thousand for that. But it's located in Dark Park. Like right next to the main street with all of the kid shops and the uh -huh. coffee shops. So I didn't take that the room. Wow, a so a thousand per room. That's really expensive, man. Yeah. Actually, you know, with a thousand dollars, especially in Latin America, you can, you can like live in a two-bedroom house, mm -hmm. eat high, no one. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, like in Latin really? America countries, like maybe Colombia, uh, Mexico. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about moving there. Someday. To Mexico. Yeah, maybe Mexico. I'm, I'm looking at Thailand. Mm -hmm. So it's funny, I was looking on my computer on Workaway. You yeah, know about yeah, Workaway. Workaway yeah. yeah, so I found some very nice spot in Thailand to yeah. just work and like three to five hours per but, day. Yeah, exactly, like part-time job. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So what could be advice for people coming to San Diego in terms of cost of living? Mm. I would say to uh, get used to the different neighborhoods that there is. Uh -huh. Like, know what you're looking for. Are yeah. you looking for a beach neighborhood? Are you looking for somewhere trendy? Yeah. Do you want to have easy access to big shops? Or you like local shops, uh -huh. local shops? Because there's everything you want to find. You just have to look for it. So on blog, on internet. And yeah. then once you find the neighborhood that you really like, you look for it. So on average, yeah. as a very normal spender, how much does it cost to stay here per month on average? Like just a normal, yeah, normal spend. Let's say you eat 
good and you sleep good. Not like extravagant, mm -hmm. just normal. So normal I would lifestyle. say I pay like 200 per month of groceries. Uh -huh. I pay like 1000 for the room. The room. And the gas is a lot. Like the gas does a lot because everything is so spread out. So we have to drive a lot to get to places. Uh -huh. Because if you want to go diving, we do dive. So we have yeah. to do like the distances. Yeah. And that's, that's 200 per month of gas, maybe more. So we can say like $2,000 a month. Yeah, you will be good with $2,000. $2,000, $2, yeah, per person. Yeah, hey, thank you so much for your oh time. I really appreciate it. Can I say bye to the camera? Bye. Yeah, thank you. I'm Reed. Uh, we're dancers from San Diego, and you're watching I Am Marwa.